Launched 2005, the EU Emissions Trading System is designed to help member states achieve their commitments to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 20% by 2020, allowing participating organizations and states to buy and sell emissions allowances as they need. But the recent lull in manufacturing and therefore demand for power in the wake of the global financial crisis has created a false reduction in emissions since 2008 that can only rise as the economy restarts. And this has driven down the price of carbon traded on the open market as credits remain unused. Now approaching its third phase, what impact has the ETS had in Europe to date? And if a strong carbon price is a key driver in reducing carbon emissions in the EU, how and even should we strive to keep the ETS buoyant in the face of free market challenges? Join the debate and have your say on the future of the European Emissions Trading System at commentvisions.com.